Now, when we work with legislators, we try to remind them that you do not make policy changes in a vacuum. Every time you change your policy, for better or for worse, you're impacting your region, how you compete with your regional states, and how you compete with states all across the country. Now, as was mentioned a little bit earlier, Georgia has done well over the years in terms of competitiveness, but there's a couple people on each side of your, uh, on your border, one to the north and one to the south, that don't have personal income taxes. And when you're sandwiched between a group of states like that, it's really dangerous. And we're going to talk about how that, some of that plays out and how damaging personal income taxes are. The other trend, though, is that was mentioned, this is the first year of our rankings. This is the fourth year of the Rich States, Poor States book. This is the first year Georgia hasn't come into the top ten. You've fallen out of the top ten. And it's not necessarily because you've done that many things wrong. It's just that other states are doing things better, and they're, they're growing while Georgia's, in a way, staying stagnant. And by staying stagnant, it's kind of falling down the ladder in terms of competitiveness. 